Thank you, Mr. Nielsen, and welcome faculty, administration, board members, parents, family members, friends, and of course, the class of 2014. Wow, <laughs> that is a lot of people out there. Hi, guys. Oh, right, the speech, that's why you're staring at it, okay. So I was thinking a lot while coming up with this thing. I have a lot to accomplish, you know? I mean, I wanted to come up with a really good message, but it shouldn't be so, I don't know, formal, so serious. I mean, that's not me. <laughs> it did have to be a little formal, though, and meaningful and memorable. I mean, I don't want to be forgotten. I also had to make the speech applicable to everyone, Although I was supposed to keep my class in my main focus. Okay. Um, on top of all that, I had to get your attention. Okay, so not so much your attention as your attention. I'm pretty sure that the parents and the teachers are listening to me, but the class, I think you might need a, a little kick just so you can hone in on what I'm saying. I mean, it is like 10.30 in the morning. A hook, if you will. Just something to pique your interest. So, guys, how's this for a hook? Most of us will never see each other again. Okay, it's not a bad hook. It's okay. A little straightforward, maybe a bit overdone. But it's true. And so that's what this speech is about. I'm not going to be talking about being a leader in our society. <laughs> Out here I see doctors, lawyers, astronauts, a president! No. No. <laughs> I'm also not going to talk about how you guys will change the world if you just believe hard enough and really try your best. You probably won't. <laughs> No, I'm just gonna stand here and try to give you a message by telling you that we probably won't see each other again. It's such a weird thought, right? I mean, I've known some of you for the majority of my life, since first grade. It's a pretty long time. I know you pretty well. We've made connections, bonds that have been formed and enriched over these long, arduous school years. We're friends. And now it's over. I might never see you again. Well, that seems wrong. Years of growing closer and building up relationships have led to this? This breakup, as it were? Wait, okay, breakup. Guys, it's not you, it's me. <laughs> I just, I... I think we should see other people. <laughs> okay, no, that's not fair, is it? Knowing you, interacting with you for this long, it, it seems a terrible crime just to lose all of that work, that friendship in one fell swoop of graduation. Think of it like this. Look to your left. Actually do it. No, look to your left. And now to your right. For those of you gifted in math, you know that that was two people. That's out of seven billion in this world. It's billion, the B, as in Ben, my dad. Hi, Dad! <laughs> All right, I'm getting distracted. That's out of seven billion people. And my life was molded and shaped by around 150 in this audience. And each of these grads was affected by about the same number. And now we're leaving you? Most of you are falling back into that sea of unknown billions? That's awful. It's evil, isn't it? You see, the seniors know, because of Mr. Hardy, of a philosophical problem called the problem of evil. And now everyone else will too. It goes like this. If God is good, why is there evil? A pretty simple concept. In a way, this is an example. How can our God, our all-loving, all-powerful God, 
allow us to create these beautiful relationships and then cause them to shatter. It's evil. But the thing is, and here's where my message kind of comes through, I promise there is a point to all this rambling. The relationships weren't the goal. We grew up together, we connected to one another, but that wasn't enough. Because relationships are temporary. The only bond that ultimately stands the test of time is the one with God. All the others end. They always end. Bonds are broken every day. But the growth through them, because of them, that's permanent. Friendships, connections, allow for different and new ideas in people. Relationships grant us, as humans, the ability to grow. Without others, life becomes stagnant. And that is the point. It was never the links between us, the love, the hate, any and all other emotions. It wasn't about how long these relationships would last, how strong they were, would be, though they were strong and lasting. How could it? They could never be strong enough to last forever anyway. No, it was us, always us, as individual people. We were so connected in order to get here. Every single action, reaction, move and counter move, this whole social chess game has only been for one purpose, to get us to this moment. And not just to get us here any which way, but to get us here exactly the way we are. And I'm not just talking about the graduates here, all of us, all our friends, all those hangouts, business meetings, parties, lunch breaks, they each made us. Each of us, we are today. And our choices, good, bad, and ugly, have influenced our lives and the lives around us. The sum of our past interactions and choices and relationships equals us. So what does that mean? Why did I suddenly get so serious? What am I trying to tell you to do? Because I am supposed to tell you something after all. I'm telling you to live. It's cheesy and stupid, but seriously. My commission to you, to all of you, is just live. Revel in the moment and understand that no matter what you do, from your greatest blunders to your greatest heroics, God has you in his wonderful, powerful hand. My message is the same you've probably heard a hundred times before. Live for today, because God's got the future. He's constantly shaping, molding, bending, breaking, working on you for his vision of you, who you are predestined to be. It's all laid out, and in his eyes, it's already done. All these relationships aren't ending because of some evil scheme God picked up while rubbing his hands together and laughing maniacally. It's for our good, always, because God is good all the time, and all the time God is good. So I may never see you again, and that's okay. That's life. That's God's plan. And I think that's the point. Thank you.